Thank you, Tom. We are at the Dean Dome just underway with Louisville knocking down the first shot of the ball game. They came off an 18 day pause where they were beaten 85 to 48 at Wisconsin after those 18 days. Now, after 19 days, they come take on in Chapel Hill. And also, this is the first time North Carolina's had a home game, a home ACC conference game in their last five attempts. Garrison Brooks with his first two. But what was the greatest benefit, Corey, for the Tar Heels getting that game in earlier this week? Well, it was to get a home game, to be completely honest. We have to go to Twitter for their next game. It was just announced a couple of hours ago that Marquette will travel to Chapel Hill for a game on ESPN2 on Wednesday. Following on Big Monday, so North Carolina still with an opportunity to continue to build on its NCAA tournament resume with some big teams coming up. The game at Louisville, where Louisville handled the Tar Heels easily. So I'm sure this is a game that Garrison Brooks has had scheduled on his calendar to make sure. Walton gives it to Leaky Black, who fires away. Too strong. Offensive rebound, Baycott. He banks it up and in. And I believe leads the country. Well, they lead the nation in rebound margin as well, plus 11 per game. Great position, nice feed. Baycott's got two more. 11 points and 11.7 rebounds per game, so getting back in the starting lineup, I'm sure much more expected of Samuel Williams as we see David Johnson with a nice finish for what the task they've had ahead of him today. David Johnson uses the screen on the pick and roll. Easy two layup, first bucket of the season. More so what he does defensively, because he's a guy that's anchored this defensive unit for the past two seasons. Carly Jones read that pass, continue to struggle from the free throw line. They are off to a one for six start tonight. He's not in basketball shape, and it's going to take a while for him to be able to get to that. A play like that a year ago with Williams in shape, he would have been able to recover as Gwen Szczynski gets a very nice layup in opening up a door to being able to play basketball on scholarship in the South and in the ACC. I could ever imagine, Corey, and like you said, did so much for those who have come since in the last half century. You know, and, and the thing is, there's... Of course, with, with Charles Scott capable of being Final Four level, even national championship teams, I think that when you look at the styles, two completely contrasting styles, and I'll tell you a funny story, I'm on the elliptical, and you see Coach Matt going to a 2-3 zone, which is not something very characteristic of him, but I believe that, that has a lot to do with the opponent one in North Carolina and their shooting woes, even Pittsburgh, but I think their chances definitely took a major hit today with the not picking up that win over Florida State, but when you consider what's going on in the ACC right now, so again, I root for the Orange, I just don't do it in front of you. <laughs> Back and forth they go. That could never be, you know, more false. I am a, first off, Carmelo <laughs> Anthony is my little brother. I am a huge Adrian Autry, Jerry McNamara fan. Those are my guys. Even though you get a fast break opportunity, you still have to sprint back defensively when you're playing against the Tar Heels. Tough shot with a left hand goes off the glass. One of the things that Chris Mack knows very well about this, he knows his, his personnel, which guys he can play longer stretches, and also he knows who's been dealing with illness. One of the biggest improvements for the Tar Heels has been their ability to take care of the basketball. And they have a positive assist to turnover ratio, and Walton knocked out another three. Because oftentimes you're in the wrong position on the floor. Carly Jones, no. Dre Davis couldn't get the rebound. Carolina with it. Love, lob to the rim. Kessler finishes the alley-oop. Impressive the uh, development of Caleb Love, but to me, Kerwin Walton is the difference in this team because his ability to make shots opens up the floor, and this is the best I've seen Carolina run. He's now the largest lead of the night for North Carolina, and as Fonz talked about, seems like in the last four or five minutes, maybe fatigue and the legs are starting to catch up with the Cardinals. But the attention that he takes away from opponent's defense, having to run him off the three-point line, opens things up for those big guys on the interior, makes it difficult to double-team. Give yourself that much credit. <laughs> I'm the one who said he changed the dynamic of the team. I teed you up, but that set went on with that. Kessler with a nice pass. And the finish by De'Ron Sharp. There he is, passing out to the wing. 
getting it back. The production per minute by Dayron Sharp is as good as anybody you're going to find. And Carolina can cash in on the turnover. Indeed they can. Kalen Love with the exclamation point to close an impressive first half in Chapel Hill. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by USAA. Insurance, auto, renters, and home insurance. Let's send it back to the studio for the halftime report. Here's Carly Jones, one of two Louisville players with six points to lead the way. No reset of the shot clock as he didn't hit the rim. Still haven't hit the rim. And finally with a throw down. They are the second best team in the ACC in rebound margin. And you can't do that without getting it done on the offensive class. And nice hands by David Johnson. Kicking the pocket of Caleb Love there and leading to an easy buck. It makes this Louisville team that much more formidable. And a great start for the cards coming out of the halftime locker room. And just like that, now it's a 15-point game. Their 21 made field goals, they've got 13 assists, and it seems like half of those at least have been between their four big guys. Well, and that you have to do that. Caleb Love with the basketball to Armando Bacot, who gives it back. Knocked away, and here comes the run out. Carly Jones, 1,800 career points. Of course, the first three at Radford University, and then this year averaging over 17 per game, and another chance off another UNC turnover. But that's denied the, the block. Yeah, the fourth turnover by Caleb Love. Now the fifth turnover <laughs> for Love. He does get back on this one and deny the two points from Carly Jones. Nice block. It's NCAA position. Now, Joe, when you look at this, and Louisville has played a league-low nine games to this point, is that something that the selection committee will take into consideration? 18-plus day COVID pauses and the games that they played after that, or is that something that will or will not, will not be in consideration when they make those selections? Well, think of it this way, Corey. The committee members, you know, they have a binder of player availability uh, information in the typical year, meaning injuries. And there we see what the Cardinals have remaining at Notre Dame Tuesday, at Duke next Saturday, and then at Virginia Tech and against Virginia. You know, they got walloped their first three games and then seemed to figure it out. Now they're back on pause. What do you make of Clemson right now and their resume and how it should be interpreted? And just not look like the ranked team that we saw in November and December. And really, you know, who are we to judge? We don't know what's going on. Yeah, these are the third and fourth overall number one seeds. And, and, and I think if Michigan were to lose on the road at number four, maybe the teams switch positions but stay both number one. And it leaves a bad taste in the mouth of the people that he's leaving. That was none of that at Rafford. Of course, he would have been spectacular at Rafford this year. But, you know, he won the challenge himself and has done just that. And so when you consider that, that's really where you've seen the biggest difference with the cards. Their defensive rhythm, of course, they're one for 12 from beyond the three-point arc, which is not great. That's not who they are, because if so, it's going to cost them some games. You have to be able to finish plays off at the free throw line when you get those opportunities, especially when you attack the basket as much as North Carolina does. And that was the fourth assist for Playtech. And again, 22 assists on 31 made field goals before that bucket. This is true. <laughs> but yes, it's been a long time for Duke, and, and we talked about it. You and I had their game last Saturday as Davis knocks down the three. Just go to Twitter. You'll see that uh, beard that is no longer. <laughs> what do you know about Twitter? You're not on Twitter. We, we, I, we need you to be on Twitter, Dougie Fresh. And North Carolina is playing some of its best basketball of the season right now and finding ways to win even when they don't shoot the basketball well. And they've been able to just you know, overpower the cards all day. This game goes along. We could see him in double, double figures when he got his first double figure game against Northeastern on Wednesday, making the 10th Tar Heel to have a double figure game this season. And again, you know, always have to mention the fact that Louisville has not played as a team in close to three weeks in Louisville games and getting an opportunity to talk with Kenny. And I'm starting to feel like you didn't believe me. Kessler now with six points and gets a steal. Opportunity for two more. Look at him stretch out. <laughs> the big fella. And of course, I love my alma mater. I mean, it's who wouldn't love 
being a reigning national champion. I mean, who wouldn't love that? <laughs> you love that once. <laughs> My love that too. <laughs> only assume will pay dividends for the Tar Heels going forward. And here is one of them, Anthony Harris, coming back from a concussion. He missed that Northeastern game. On a lineup and is a difference maker, especially on the defensive end for them. Play tech. Leaves it for Kessler, who throws it down. Because, I mean, th this is not who the Louisville Cardinals are. But this is what COVID has done in college basketball right now. The cards come back off of a 19-day layoff and trail by 49 here on the road. Creighton Levo. <laughs> Something that Roy Williams would love to have back for ACC games on the home court have been postponed or canceled. But North Carolina playing great basketball here, especially on their home court.